Hey everybody, today we are going to be talking about pressure in a little bit of a different way than we did last time. So make sure that you open your next clean white available page and put today's date at the top in the upper right hand corner. If you're not sure what it is, you can look at the board on the right side. And today, and I would write in big words, I would write competing pressures or characters under pressures. So one thing to ask yourself, is something in the setting pulling a character between competing pressures? Is something about the place um, or the atmosphere causing the, can the character some conflict? And I'm gonna show you an example. This is a movie called A Christmas Story and the boy on the right is named Ralphie. And this is a scene where Ralphie and a bunch of his friends, they're about 10 years old, maybe fifth graders, they run outside to play at recess. And all the boys dare this one kid on the left to um, touch his tongue to the flagpole because they know that it will stick. And so he does it, they dare him to do it. So they put some pressure on him, some social pressure, some peer pressure, and he does it. And it sticks and he's in pain because it sticks and he can't get it off and he starts screaming and they don't quite know what to do. You can see Ralphie's a little fascinated by it. So he's got the pressure of being fascinated, but also like, uh oh, my friend is in pain. But what ends up happening is the bell rings for recess to end. And the boys then have this competing pressures of a place. They know that their friend is hurt. They know they should probably help their friend, but they're 10 years old. And when the bell rings, you go in. Um, I guess for us, that would be like the the, the recess monitor re blows the whistle. And so they, they have this instinct this about the setting. Well, the bell rang, so I have to run in. So they end up leaving their friend outside with his tongue stuck to the flagpole. And when the teacher can't find him and they ask everybody where he is, they point to the window and she sees him stuck to the flagpole. But, there's, but the point is um, there's competing pressures. So we're going to do this work today with um, with Will and the fight. So if you want to jot some notes about Will and the competing pressures. So the first thing I do is I go back to a scene where there was a lot of pressure, where there was a lot of tension. So I went back to the scene where he, at first on the left-hand column here, you can see this is where he's bragging to his friend, Kevin, that, oh, I could beat him up, blah, blah, blah. Well, what pressure is, is, um, Will a fighter? No. Has he ever been in a fight? No. Why does he say these things? Because in his school, there's pressure to be cool. And part of pressure to be cool in the atmosphere of their school, and so I would write this in my notes, Will is in a place where in order to be cool, you have to be tough and fighting is a part of that. So he says these things because he's responding to the pressure to be cool and to be a tough guy. On the right-hand side of the column, you'll remember that Mike Dichter comes up to him, hey, buddy, um, I hear you want to fight me. That's pressure, too. That's real pressure in his face. So somebody wants to fight him. So now he's being pressured by a person, right, to fight him. At this point, he, is, he now has a competing pressure. On the one hand, he's got that pressure of the atmosphere, the environment to be cool, to be tough, and to say, I hear you want to fight me. And so he wants to respond with, that's right, right? And he says that's right because he has to, right? That's inside he wants to say, no, I don't want to fight you. I'm not interested in fighting you. That is not my point. But he says, okay, I'll fight you because of the pressure of the place. And it even says, um, I'll be there, I said. Then he walked away and I discovered two interesting things about myself. The first was that the idea of fighting terrified me. And the second was that in moments of extreme fear, my body produced ice cold sweat. So if I were uh, to write in my notebook about this, about the pressures, I would say there's pressures to be cool. There's pressures in this school to be tough. But Will, on the other hand, is dealing with the pressure of being safe and of being true to himself, which is, I don't like this. This is not cool with me. I don't want to do this. Uh, the, you know, where Mike Dicker seems totally up for the fight, has probably been in fights, maybe he's been preparing for fights, or maybe he's looking for his opportunity to become more popular. So he's looking forward to this, whereas Will is not. Um, 
So that's the work we're gonna do today. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step in a moment. Um, but first I'm gonna show you some examples. This uh, student was writing about a character named Mary Louise who was dealing with this inside outside about her father. Um, she had a some fears on the inside of her, but she was all, you know, fears of making her father upset, fears of losing her father, fears of letting a teacher down. But on the right hand side, she actually had fear because her father wasn't good to her. Um, fear because she was being physically abused and beaten and you know that's not a not that's that's a uh, pressure on the outs on her outside world um, this one here's another way you could do this this is a character Jonas from the book um, the giver and you can see there's like almost a rainbow shape that goes across the page on the outside is the way Jonas acts on the inside is the way he feels. And so it's competing. His inner needs are become in conflict with his outer needs. So in the very beginning of the book, he says he's on the outside, he says he's feeling apprehension, apprehensive. I'm on the left-hand side now. And on the inside, he was also feeling apprehensive. Later on in the book, if you follow the rainbow up, it says Jonas returns to the annex. That's what he did. He had pressure to return to this place. But on the inside, he says to himself, or it says in the book, he did not want to go back. So you can see he's in conflict because he has pressure to go back, but on the inside, he doesn't want to. So he does go back, but he doesn't want to go back. Later on, if you follow the rainbow up, uh, Jonas cheerfully greets his parents and he acts really just like his normal self on the outside, but on the inside, he says, I'll leave at midnight. He plans on running away from home. So you can see he's acting on these pressures. He has a pressure to keep up his family life, but on the inside, he knows he needs to leave. He knows he needs to get out of there. It's not safe anymore. At the bottom, um, there's some thinking work. There has been a complete evolution here. Jonas started out inside and outside selves matching. Then they did not. And at the end, his inner and outer selves um, were working together. So. I, some thinking work there. So maybe your character is doing that too. Like in Restart, Chase Ambrose is, is really confused because at the beginning, you know, he's friends, he knows who all of his friends are, his football player friends or his tough guy friends, but then they're not being very nice to the people who he starts to respect. And so he has this problem because he has pressures from his friends to act a certain way. Hey, you used to think this was funny. You used to think this was it was fun to make fun of kids, but on the inside, that's not who he is anymore. So he has competing pressures of who he used to be with the person he is now since his head got banged. So again, I told you I would give you the steps. So if you look at this slide, and I did share the slideshow, sl sh this slideshow with you, or you could pause now and write these down. These are the steps you can go through to with your own books during workshop today and tonight when you do homework. So what you'll be doing is setting up your notebook page and try to capture some of this, the, maybe how a character might be feeling on the inside versus the pressures of the environment. And again, here are the steps to do that. All right, best of luck.